Um, uh, thank you, Andrew. Um, I'm lucky enough to be invited to this particular meeting today uh, wearing two different hats. Uh, I know Andrew very well. I'm a clinical haematologist from the Royal Brisbane Hospital and in that role also um, of a chairperson of the uh, lymphoma multidisciplinary team at, at RBWH. Um, I also, the main reason why I'm here today is really as a representative for Lymphoma Australia or LA. Many of you will have met Sharon Millman who is our tireless CEO, um, who is calling a CEO probably doesn't do justice. She's really a jack of all trades in terms of what she's many, managed to achieve for the organisation over the last uh, several years. What is LA? LA is a not-for-profit uh, charitable organisation and as far as I know it's probably the only charitable organisation with the specific focus on lymphomas um, and that's the reason why I think it has such an important role for, for many of the people in, in this room. Now LA I think has a number of roles to play. An important one is education and that's probably the reason why we're all here today is that as, a, as an organisation we see that Education is really important. I think knowledge is power. The more people understand about their diseases and the more we can disseminate knowledge about uh, what they're going through, um, I think the easier it makes the journey through lymphoma treatment. Um, what we're hoping to do is in the future really provide more of these sessions. Again, when um, international speakers like Professor Enger to Turing perhaps try to get them to join in these sessions, but also get some more focused sessions on a statewide basis, including local experts and, and people with an interest in lymphoma as well. So watch this space in terms of more education sessions in the future. I think the other important role we have to play is raising awareness about lymphomas. Um, I was lucky enough to have a, a workshop session with Professor Engert in Brisbane on Wednesday. It was one of the slides that he showed sort of gave me uh, pa um, really pause for thought. 68,000 new diagnoses of Hodgkin's lymphoma in the world per year. So that's a lot. The even more discouraging point from the slide was that about 30,000 people die each year from Hodgkin's lymphoma. And to put that into context, that is a disorder that in general we feel has one of the best prognoses of all the di diseases that we see. So we're losing 30,000 young, uh, often young people each year. We know that the, the incidence of, of Hodgkin's lymphoma is one that tends to have its peak in the ages between 15 and 30, but then a second peak in, in later life uh, over the age of 55. But it means that when every time we lose a, a life from lymphoma, it's often a young person who had their life still stretching out ahead of them. Um, lymphomas as an entity is also the fifth most common malignancy um, in Australia and worldwide in most Western countries. Um, and for reasons that we're not certain about, it, its incidence is increasing. So we know that many of the cancers that we face, the incidence has been decreasing as lifestyle modifications have impacted upon um, the, their development. But lymphomas continue to rise in incidence. So fifth most common malignancy. Now I think a lot of the, uh, the, the malignancies that are above it in, in incidence, like colorectal cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, are very much in public consciousness now. People know about those diseases. But I think there's a very high likelihood that you know, the next door neighbour of the people in this audience probably have never heard of lymphoma. And I think we've got a lot of responsibility as an organisation to get the concept of lymphoma <coughs> out there in the community. And that's one of the important things that we as LA believe that we can achieve, is get that sense of, of public awareness going on. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit of a plug, but um, education sessions like this, raising awareness and various other things, cost money. Um, and we are a charitable organisation, and one of the other important aspects to what we do is fundraising. Um, there's been lots of different activities that Sharon has developed over the years, like Opera to Parliament. We managed to light the Opera House in, in uh, Sydney Green going back a while again, and, and optimistically that's going to happen potentially again this year. Um, so Lyme for lymphoma, um, that's the, one of the motifs that we use for, for LA. So when people ask you perhaps what can they do to help, consider you know, mentioning to them that LA might be worth so don donating some money to so that we can continue to promote the, the needs of patients with lymphoma. All right, well I hope you enjoy the session today. I'm looking very much forward to it and um, I'll hand back over to Andrew. Thank you.